What's going on guys, welcome back. Today I'll be looking into the best ad blockers that are also VPNs. Now if you didn't know, VPNs have some of the best blockers out there, and there are several reasons why you might want to combine a VPN with an ad blocker. For example, let's say you're trying to watch a specific streaming service, and you want to make sure that there are no ads. Or if you're just on YouTube and you're browsing, maybe you're accessing a different streaming service in a different country using the VPN, and you also want to make sure that the ads are blocked, well, a VPN is actually a great choice in these sorts of situations. Now, a VPN is not just for ad blocking, obviously. It's also so that you can protect your device by connecting to a server that is secured by the VPN provider. And you can actually specify which country you want to connect to. For example, in this case, if I connect to France, then my internet will interpret it as if I'm in France myself. And I will therefore have access to local French content. And so that's essentially how VPNs work. But nowadays, a lot of good VPNs, as well as most premium VPNs, have really good ad blockers. And today, that's what we're going to test. So I want to start with the Surfshark blocker here. If we go to settings, VPN settings, and make sure that the clean web ad blocker is on, once you have it on, all you have to do is just connect to a server, and that's pretty much it. Now we're going to use this site over here to test its ad blocking capabilities. And this is essentially an ad blocking tester. Basically, the more red we're seeing, the more it means that it's not that great. And the more green we'll be seeing, the more ads have been successfully blocked. So let's give it a go here without any VPN. Seems like we're getting a 20%. Now let's give it a retest with Surfshark. And as you can see, it looks like we've been able to block up to 80 ads, which is good. And so the Surfshark application has quite a bit of ad blocking capability, but it may not be as good as you want it to be. All right, now let's do the same thing with ExpressVPN. So if I were to go to the ExpressVPN options right here and make sure that everything is on in this section, I can just go ahead and connect to any server. And once I'm connected, all I have to do is just give this a refresh and wait for the tester to give me the results. But essentially, we should be reaching much higher percentages here with ExpressVPN. My guess is it would be around 80%. And there we go, it gave us a whopping 89%. This means that almost all of the ads were blocked. Only 15 were not blocked, which seems to be Google ads. And it's probably because I'm using Google Chrome, so that's understandable. We can probably get rid of these and reach much higher percentages if I just use another browser that's a little bit more private. Okay, so now that we've tested Surfshark and ExpressVPN, let's also give a live test to NordVPN. Now with NordVPN, we have the most advanced one here. We've got file protection, which is sort of like a mini antivirus, and then we have web protection. And if you take a look at this, this will essentially block all kinds of trackers, malicious websites, and other parameters that websites pick up to keep track of your data and your habits. So you wanna make sure that this is on. So I'll wait until this is on, and then I can just go ahead and connect to any country. Let's just go with the most recently used server. Now that I'm connected, let's give it a refresh and see what happens here. Of course, it will block anything that it suspects might be suspicious. But for the most part, you probably just wanna unblock it. It could be a false alarm most of the time. So let's just see here. And I suspect we'll go to about 90% here. And it seems like we got a 79%. Now, if you wanna maximize your ad blocking capabilities, what you wanna do is use a VPN as well as an individual blocker. And this will be the most effective way to block ads. And that's basically it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find the links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And when going for any of these VPNs, I did ask Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan, thinking they're not going to need a VPN for more than a month, but they do end up using it for longer than a month and they keep resubscribing to its very expensive plan. Whereas if you go for the longer term plans, you'll be able to save a little bit more money, especially using the link down below. Oh, and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you change your mind for whatever reason. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.